Kelly, this is the problem. Here is my coin jar, and as you can see, it's pretty full. I'm sure if you have one, it's pretty full too. People are just not going to the store as much as they used to, and even when they do, they're not paying with cash and coin, they're paying with card, and that means that all of this money is not getting back into circulation. At the same time, the U.S. Mint has had to adjust to the coronavirus as well. Last year, it produced 12 billion coins. This spring, it had to slow down production so that employees could social distance, and that impacted the number of coins, too. As a result, the Federal Reserve is now warning of a low coin inventory, and some banks have gotten so worried they're even turning to their customers for help. What I did was we have some gumball machines, which we only uh, take the money out of about once every six months, and I said, well, we'll go and remove those early, and uh, that'll add to the total that they need. Now, the Mint has said it's adding weekend shifts to help catch up with production, and the Fed says this problem will eventually resolve itself. But, Kelly, if you've got some extra change lying around, now might be a good time to bring it in. Back so fascinating. The, all of this out of the Fed uh, testimony on Capitol Hill. That's why we watch. Elon, thanks very, very much, uh, Elon Moy. And now let's bring in Jim Geharity. He is the CEO of Coinstar. Mr. Geharity, it's great to have you here. And, man, what a story. So basically what's happened? No one's coming to your kiosks? Well, that's not it at all. Uh, thank you for having me today. But the uh, the issue really is with the pandemic, uh, people have stayed in their homes uh, more frequently, and uh, grocery trips are down. At the height of the pandemic, it was about 50 percent less trips to grocery, mm -hmm. and as a result, there's just been uh, less time for folks to go in and do the coin transactions. Trust me, there's plenty of coin out there. It's just not making its place. Uh, its way to the right place at this point. In time. So do you, I mean, here's another question as I've been thinking about this all weekend. Who is it that needs coins? You know, who is at risk if they can't get the coinage? We've heard it, you know, about it from banks, but where does this, where does the coin need to get to? Well, it needs to get into retail. Retail is, is the primary user of the coin. Also needs to get into the, into the banking institutions to supply retail. So that's really where the need is right now. Uh, you know, we're, what we're doing is we're asking consumers to come out and do their coin transactions now in order to get that supply chain filled again, and then we can help to recirculate that. Coinstar does about $2.7 billion worth of coin recirculated each year, and that makes its way back into the system. It supplies the, the banks uh, and the Federal Reserve Bank for the demand that, that's being fulfilled back down to retail. So retail really needs it. You know, one of the things people have been doing because of their concern about the pandemic is trying to not use cash. And I assume that includes kind of touching coins. Probably a different story if I'm bringing something that's been sitting at home and depositing it in your machine. But what would you say to people who are wary about touching coins right now? Yeah, I, look, I think that the, the CDC has been quite clear about this. The highest risk that you have for a transfer of the disease is person to person, close contact, uh, you know, the water particles that are coming from people while sneezing or coughing. That really does it. And, and it's been clear that on surfaces, it really only lasts a very short period of time. People are touching door handles. They're touching money. They're touching everything, really. But the, the, the primary way, according to the CDC, is person-to-person -person contact. So I think you're fairly safe. And, of course, washing your hands is, is a pretty important thing. And it, is, is there any kind of goodies you can offer people for getting those coins uh, into, your, into your kiosks right now? Well, I think the, the, the most important part here is fulfilling the supply chain. So asking them to come and do that. And they just don't have to go to Coinstar. They can go to banks in order to recirculate that coin. But we need to get it back into the system in order to help to supply the demand that, that we go through this summer and into the fall. 